Good evening, everyone. Before I get underway with the Price is Right pricing and recap for tonight, please join me in a moment of silence for, first, Jack Ramsey, best known as Dr. Jack. He was the coach for the 1977 Portland Trail Blazers, which the team uh, won the championship in that year. He sadly died of cancer at age 89 in, in Naples, Florida, back on April 27th. The news was mentioned yesterday, April 28th. And also for Lee Marshall, who was a former pro wrestling announcer for AWA, that's the American Wrestling Alliance, WCW World Championship Wrestling, and Women of Wrestling. Wow! He died of cancer at the age of 67, back on April 26th. And I remember watching Mr. Lee Marshall on WCW Worldwide back when I was around 11, 10 or 11 years old. Thank you very much, and rest in peace, Dr. Jack and Lee Marshall. Pricing and recap for Tuesday, April 29th, 2014. Here were today's pricing games. One Right Price, Switcheroo, Range Game, Swap Meet, Bullseye, and Lucky 7. The first contestant was Barbara, who is from A Pizzle 90's home state of Florida, and she was with her husband of 53 years, who was in the audience. She bid $1,060 on an Apple iPod collection that includes two 64 gig touches and two 16 gig nanos. And that was brought out by the ravishing Rachel Reynolds. The actual retail price, $1,096. Barbara was off by $36. She played one right price for a chance to win these two prizes. A Kimco Mongoose 308 TV that has a 270cc liquid cool engine and automatic CVT, modeled by Rachel. And a 65 inch 1080p HD TV that has LED picture quality and clear motion rate technology, modeled by the awesome Amber Lancaster. Both Rachel and Amber held the one right price of $3,849. Barbara believed that price went to the HDTV. Okay, so when Amber placed $3,849 on the podium for the TV price, she revealed its actual retail price, and it turned out to be... $2,600. She should have chosen the ATV. Ah, too bad. Okay, the second contestant was Cami. K A M I is how her name is spelled. And she was wearing a t shirt that said, I was born to be on the Price is Right. Well, she bid $1,400 on a men's and ladies snowboarding package with boots and bindings included, modeled by Rachel. 
Actual retail price, $1,520. Cami was off by $120. She played switcheroo for a chance to win a Chevrolet Sonic LS modeled by Amber. And she also had a chance to win these four small prizes that were over by Rachel. We had a grill alert meat thermometer with voice prompt, letting you know when your uh, meat is ready. A hand-powered chopper. A crane cool mist humidifier, that is a um, frog pattern. It releases up to 2.1 gallons of moisture per day. And a Zoku slush and shake maker. Now, as we all know, Cami gets 30 seconds to place the missing numbers in the prices of these prizes. Now. She first placed... Two as the missing number for the car, making its price $17,628. For the meat thermometer, she placed the seven as the missing number, making its price $70. For the hand-powered chopper, she placed six as the missing number, making its price $65. For the humidifier, she placed three as the missing number, making its price $30. And for the slush and shake maker, she placed four as the missing number, making the price $40. So, when time ran out, it's time to find out how many Cami got correct. Out of the five prizes, how many did Cami get right? She got two right. So, Cammie could take another 30 seconds and make some changes. Or leave the prices the way they were, and hopefully one of the two prizes she got was the car. But Cammie decided to make some changes. So, for the car she placed 7 as the missing number this time making the price $17,678. She placed six as the missing number for the meat thermometer, making its new price $60. For the hand-powered chopper, she placed two as the missing number, making its new price $25. And she left the three at the humidifier, keeping it at $30. And she kept the four on the slush and shake maker, keeping that prize at $40. So, when time ran out once again, we had to, we had to know how many prizes Cammie had right this time. Out of the five prizes, how many did Cammy get right this time? Well, you're not going to believe this. She had none right. Oh. Drew was uh, worried that one of the prizes that she uh, probably had right was the car. And I honestly think he was right. Well, Rachel revealed the actual retail prices of these prizes. The actual retail price of the car was $17,638. So it was the three, not the two or the seven. So she didn't have the car right to begin with. Uh, the meat thermometer was $70. She had that right before. The hand power chopper was $65. She had that right before as well. So those were the two she had right in her first go. The cool mist humidifier was $40. And the slush and shake maker was $20. Okay. The third...
contestant was Cairo. Yes, we have a contestant who shares the name of Egypt's capital. He was wearing a t-shirt that read, I waited 35 years to say the price is right. Was it worth the wait for him? I think so. He bid $690 on a Proform treadmill. That was uh, modeled by Amber. The actual retail price, $699. Cairo was off by 9 bucks. Impressive bid. He played range game for a chance to win a Somerset Outdoor Living Outdoor Kitchen Island that has a refrigerator, side burner, three drawers, and a 30-inch stainless steel gas grill modeled by Rachel. The lowest price on the range was $9,100, and the highest price on the range was $9,700. And as the $150 range climbed up the scale... Cairo froze that $150 range between about $9,180 and $9,330. I have to say, I think he may have stopped it uh, pretty early. And as Bob Barker always says, once the range finder stops, it can't be restarted again for 37 hours. Well, let's see if... Uh, Stopping that range finder uh, early paid off. When the actual retail price appeared in the dark green strip, it turned out to be $9,359. Oh, Cairo was... Off by $29. He he stopped it indeed a bit too early. Oh. And he was pretty close. Oh. Wow, what a rough first half. Okay. The fourth contestant was Ludmilla. I think that's how her name was pronounced. She was wearing a shirt that read, Drew, pick me. My boss doesn't know I'm here. Well. Okay, then. She bid $1,300 on a seven-piece power tool collection modeled by Amber on the turntable. Actual retail price, $2,341. She played swap meet for a chance to win these four prizes. First off, we had a Sony desktop computer that has a 20-inch touchscreen display, 1 terabyte hard drive, and 8 gigs of memory. That was modeled by Rachel outside door number 2. And inside door number 2, we had these three prizes. A 56-inch foosball table that has chrome-plated steel rods with easy spin bearings and four built-in drink holders, modeled by Amber. A Kate Spade colorful leather and tweed designer handbag collection that includes five different styles with gold plated hardware. That was, I believe, also um, modeled by Amber, but it might have been mostly camera modeled. And uh, a Danby Beverage Center that stores up to 112 soda cans and 11 bottles of wine with tempered glass shelves, modeled by the goofy George Gray. Ludmilla chose to swap the desktop computer for the Kate's Bay designer handbags. Well, George revealed the price of those handbags from Kate Spade, and it turned out that they were... $2,020. So if that desktop computer was $2,020, Ludmilla wins all four prizes. And when Rachel revealed the price of the Sony desktop computer, it turned out that it was... $1,100. Ludmilla should have swapped the computer for the beverage center, as Drew thought. That was $1,100, and I kind of thought it was too. 
Amber revealed the price of the foosball table would be five hundred seventy dollars. The fifth contestant was Jamie, who to me looked a little bit like NBC News reporter Ann Thompson. She bid $1,800 on a Ricardo Beverly Hills six-piece His and Her Luggage Collection modeled by Rachel. Actual retail price, $2,120. She played bullseye for a chance to win a trip for two to the Galapagos Islands. It is round trip coast from Los Angeles and includes a six night stay in an ocean view room at the Hotel Solimar with two tours included. Modeled by Amber at door number four. A prize worth $7,062. Here are the five grocery products. We had Ology Citrus Dish Liquid, Bill Watt Walgreens. A two-liter bottle of Canada Dry Cranberry Ginger Ale. I've had that. It's very good. Wonder if Benjamin James Mason has two. A spray can of Easy Off Heavy Duty Oven Cleaner. A 16-ounce bag of Da Vinci Bow Ties Pasta, and a box of Light Life Smart Deli Roast Turkey Style Veggie Protein Slices. Now, for Jamie's first attempt of hitting the ten to twelve dollar bullseye mark. She decided to buy five of the Canada Dry Cranberry Ginger Ales. Each bottle cost $1.99, and five of them totaled $9.95. She was a nickel short of hitting the bullseye, but she did get a mark. One more bottle would have done it. Now, for her second attempt, she went with the citrus dish liquid from Ology. Uh, her friends in the audience were telling her to get four of them, but she decided to get three. And I think this might have been a wise decision. I was thinking three myself. All right, each bottle of the dish liquid cost $3.99. sure she'll have a lot of fun there. We got a winner, finally. I should point out that Drew mentioned that uh, Jamie and her family like to travel, so this will definitely be um, a great experience for Jamie to discover at the Galapagos Islands. Now, the sixth and final contestant was Lily. She bid $1,200 on Amina D. A. Mina D. Mina D is the brand. Couture Sterling Silver and Gemstone Jewelry Collection brought down from the jewelry elevator. Where else? <laughs> well, the models could have brought it out, but not this time. The actual retail price $1,250. Lily was off by $50. That's one Ulysses S. Grant. She played Lucky 7 for a chance to win a Toyota Yaris LE that had Rachel in the driver's seat. First number of the price of the car was... 1. So, Drew gave Lily the seven $1 bills to play the game. And for the second number, Lily believed that it was 6. The actual second number was... A 7. Cost her $1. Figured to be a 7. For the third number, Lily went with three. The actual third number was... An eight. Uh-oh. That cost her five dollars. So she had one dollar left. We all know what this means. She's got to get the next two numbers exactly right.
So, for the fourth number, Lily believed that it was three. She decided to go with that number again. And the actual fourth number was... A nine, and Lily was broke. Last number, by the way, was six. The actual retail price was $17,896. Well, we only had one pricing game won today, and that was in Bullseye. And um, we did also give away $26,000 in cash. Yes. Now, I will tell you that Lily is the one winning that cash. First off, she won a thousand dollars, and this was in the second showcase showdown. Now, I, now even though uh, she um, didn't get the wheel all the way around two times, uh, well. The third time in her first spin, it counted. She got the 30 cents. Then she got the 70 cents for the dollar. Uh, then in her bonus spin, she did get that wheel all the way around. And uh, <laughs> I mentioned she won $26,000. What do you think happened, folks? That's right. Lily got the dollar in her bonus spin for $25,000. <laughs> and now I have this acknowledgement from Benjamin James Mason. With Lily's big $26,000 win on the wheel, she became the third one to do so this season. You know how many $26,000 winners on the big wheel there were at this point last season? Six. A big difference, I say. Yes, indeed. If you uh, have, take six and divide that by two, that's three. Half of six is three. So at this point, we have um, three $26,000 winners in season 42. Which is um, which is three less than last season at this point. All right, so Jamie is the MVP of the Price is Right for winning Bullseye, and Lily gets contestant recognition for her twenty-six thousand dollar win. Now in the showcases, the top winner was. Lily. The runner-up was Cammy. Showcase number one. That included a Tahoe Sup paddle boards, Bliss Narrow, and Lightweight paddle board. A trip for two to Lake Tahoe, which is round trip coach from Los Angeles to Reno, Nevada, and then on to Lake Tahoe via rental car. The paddle board and the trip to Lake Tahoe were modeled by Rachel. And a Kia Forte LX modeled by Amber. Lily chose to pass that showcase to Cammie. I would have kept it. Um, Cammie uh, bid $3,500, but she was so nervous, she meant to say $35,000, and that's what she ended up bidding on. $35,000 was her bid. I think she went a wee bit high, but who knows? Showcase number two. This is what Lily was bidding on. A six-piece Jaguar eyewear his and her sunglasses collection that was modeled by George over by his podium. A Yamaha Striker motorcycle modeled by Amber. And a trip for two to Auckland, New Zealand that includes a tandem skydiving adventure modeled by Rachel at door number four. Lily bid $26,000. 
Oddly enough, that is the uh, amount of money she won on the big wheel in the second showcase showdown. Okay, for the showcase reveal, Drew went to Cammy first. Her bid was $35,000. Actual retail price, $24,480. Cammy was over as most of us probably thought. Now, if Lily did not go over on her showcase, no matter how far she missed it, she'd be a winner. Her bid was $26,000. Actual retail price! $22,782. A double overbid. That's the twelfth one this season, as I found out on the Price is Right blog site I go on. Well, I will be honest and say this was not a very good show today, although the winning bullseye did uh, lift things up a bit, and the $26,000 won in the big wheel. But you know what? we got three more shows this week, and surely things are going to get better. Promotional consideration for the Price is Right Price Game Recap this week is provided by Wesson Quinola Oil. So, I uh, just want to give you all a heads up. If uh, High, Low, and Danger Price get played on the same show anytime soon, Neil Rocks 87 has the honors of doing that recap. But, in the meantime, you'll be seeing me again. And, uh, that's that. Well, this is Mr. Horgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. So long, everybody.